Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, Seven Spot. Jim, we're back again, and we're now on the GBS stand with... Richard. Uh, hi. Say hello to Jim. <laughs> hi, Jim. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I was really interested in was your EV build. Yeah. This is something completely different. There's not anything really else out there. No, there? so we've been we're doing a few EVs it. for a while now. We did our first one about five or six years ago. Yeah. Um, that we did as full car. Never actually publicised or told anyone. Um, I don't quite know why, but we didn't. Um, <laughs> but the technology wasn't really there at a cost point. Yeah. It made it viable. Yeah. Um, so we've kind of looked at it again. We've been doing a project with Cambridge University. Okay. On yeah. some new technology in that and doing the car and that, it all kind of fitted and tied in. Yeah. Um, so we're now doing a, a package that we're offering. So it's using the Tesla small model S motor. Is that the front or rear drive unit? That's the rear drive, That's the, the rear smaller drive one. Unit. We've tried the big one, but it's too big. The small one just packages yeah. lovely. Yeah. Um, gives you 220 kilowatts, 300 horsepower. Oh, so that's about 300 horsepower yeah, then, isn't it? Which is ample, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not too heavy, fits well. Um, so we've done all the chassis fabrication modification. That's actually available as an option. So right. you sort of can purchase an EV chassis, and then we've got all the corners and everything to go with it. Yeah. And then we've left it quite free on the battery side. So we've so modified say, what have the front. The, what have you done with the battery? So they we've modified the, the front and just gave you the biggest possible area. Yeah, your battery. So we can supply the customer with a, a drawing of the available space, and then they can put whatever type of battery they want. Whether they want to go down the new route or, you know, reusing an old battery. Um, there's loads of different options out there. So we thought we'd keep it as, as free as possible there. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of the other power electronics will fit down the tunnel. So your DC DC converters, chargers. But still need on. a radiator to cool it as well. Still don't got they? the cooling. Yes. Yeah. You've got your, Cooling on the motor, you've got cooling on the inverter, cooling on the motor, yeah. uh, which is just a normal coolant. We're using a little Bosch, um, I forget the, what it's off now, but it's a Bosch pump, similar to what BMW is using that, right. um, which is controlled by it, and then radiate it on the front. Then you would have, you might have liquid-cooled batteries, you might have air-cooled batteries, depending on what, what, what you application get, what, you're after. Yeah, what you want to go for. Yeah. Um, yes. We've worked with a uh, company as well, Evolution, that specialise in the batteries and stuff, so we can put all the pieces together, depending on what someone wants. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for a start, the idea was let's do all the engineering, the hardware, if you like. Get it all laid package, out, ready, yeah. ready to go as a package. But what, what about IVA? You get through IVA tests? Because that, I, I, so that's something I don't know much about it's, electric it's cars. It's doable than that. There's a lot more to it. So you've got, the, if you like, the, the standard IVA test, which will be all your sharp edges, lighting requirements, yeah. Yeah. which is current. But then there's a the whole thing on the electric side, yeah. which generally um, you've got to get like, pre-approval. So the examiners themselves won't, on the day, won't look at the electric qualified side on the electric such. side but you've yeah. got to prove that it meets all the regulation yeah so the tesla motors that we're doing um we've been working with a german company that do a controller for them that meets all their tuv ec approvals yeah it's got a certification so that part's certified and the control side is certified, certified then whatever battery you go to depending on what it is you'd have a certificate related to that yeah so yeah. each element if you like it's approved. He's gonna, he's gonna get through IVA. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Um, so this car will be going through IVA, and it'll be our demonstrator. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to seeing this on the road. It's gonna go. It's gonna oh, shift. It should be pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. We've got uh, 58 kilowatt hours battery. And probably still a 50-50 weight distribution. Maybe. There yeah, about maybe slightly nose heavy because we've gone a little bit bigger than we needed to. Yeah. On the battery, but it will give us should give us in excess of 200 miles range. Right. Uh, if you take it steady. No, a uh, uh, good performance. Even, even a good reasonable even, performance. Okay. Um, we've got another customer build one that we're doing. He's going for quite a small battery pack, gone for a full cage. He's only after half an hour max one time. But he's right. going to do sprinting and hill climbing. So yeah, it's all track about racing, whatever. performance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that car will actually be less than the IC version. Yeah. Which will be quite exciting. So the power to weight is going to be yeah, phenomenal. really up there. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah. So no, it's going to be an interesting. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I can't, interesting. Wait, can't wait to see it. So, um, well, thanks, Richard. Great, yeah, no, thank you. great catching up with again. We wanted to come and see this because I don't think many people know about it or have covered no, it. No, we've not really, not we've really been working it. on a few electric things for a while and we've not really told anyone. Yeah. Uh, we did a full four wheel drive carbon fiber monocot motor on each car. Was it the black one? Was it the black one I saw? Black carbon tub. We That's had black carbon tub, yeah. yeah. I, remember, I do remember seeing that. Um, we did a, a few years back now and there's a few different things we've been, been involved in and yeah, we probably should and start is, shouting about it a bit more. This is, yeah, this is now it. So, uh, but this is a product available. Um, Ready to go now. Yeah, and the nice thing is it's 
left to right hand drive the tesla motors you can get them pretty much anywhere in the world now so well, there's so many cars are being written off or exactly. catching fire I yeah shouldn't say that but yeah yeah they do <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah it's opened it up now and it's it's a i still think it's probably going to be a little bit dearer built than you know conventional ic but it's a different market exactly I think people expect to pay a bit more on the uh, electric at the minute brilliant yeah yeah well as ever richard and all the team yeah great stand good nice. to catch good Thank to you. catch up with you Well, I know what I feel. Please tell me I love you.